So I've made the investment and upgraded to the 2020 Predator PDL from Old Town. I spent a lot of time in the prior model, Old Town Predator PDL, but this one comes with some upgrades that I think are well worthwhile. They've adopted a couple things from the top water line at kayaks. Um, we've got a recessed track mount on these plastic moldings. You can put any bar you want in there, they're removable. There's a sea deck material in here, it's foam, so you got more grip when you're standing up and it's more comfortable to stand on. There's a third rod holder, which makes it real accessible to grab your rod right here. There's a recessed transducer mount below the kayak, just like in the top water models. That gives you a clean option for installing your transducer on the kayak. And another thing is they change the hatch in the pedal system. I find it's perfect for putting your wallet, your cell phone, your keys in. It's completely waterproof, but probably the best thing and one of the main reasons I upgraded to this kayak is because you can very quickly put on a shallow water anchor. You can put on a micro pole without drilling any holes in the kayak. There's four recessed screw holes in the back. Literally, it's four bolts and you're ready to go. So I'll show you how easy it is. So there's a few simple things to note before we get going here. There's a label right here where you're gonna mount your micro pole and it comes right on the kayak. It's shallow water anchor ready. So this label, you might wanna save because there's a couple ingredients on here, a couple pieces of equipment that you gotta go get by yourself from a local hardware store. So we're gonna peel this off, but we're gonna put it in a place where we can reference it or save it, because you need a 3 16 hex Allen head, and it's a quarter 20 size thread, which is a pretty universal thread for a lot of things that we do. And it's recommended that you get stainless steel to prevent rusting. Of course, these are gonna be in the water a lot. So let's get started. Okay, so like I said, super big upgrade for me, the ability to put a shallow water anchor on. I've been fishing without it a lot. This thing is really great for boat control, but if you're in a river situation or say you catch a big fish in some slop, you're gonna wanna pin down. So I'm really happy to be able to put this shallow water anchor on. So obviously you gotta put the base plate on first. This happens to be the base plate. These four holes line up with the screw holes. And then that's where we're gonna use our hex screws and some washers to hold it on. And then I'll show you how this mounts on. Power pole goes in and through a hole right here, right into the sediment that's gonna pin you down. So let's put the base plate on first. So these are the components that we're gonna to use to really get this thing locked down tight. Like I said, here's your hex screws. And we're gonna put a little thread lock on there, some Loctite to really bury the threads in there. And then we've also got locking washers that we're gonna put underneath the hex head. And that's really, like I said, we're gonna be fishing in current a lot of times under some force, and we really wanna make sure that nothing's gonna budge. All right, so this part's really easy too. This part's gotta to connect to the base that we've already got down nice and solid. So we'll rest that there for a second. This is adjustable, and the way it's adjustable is first we'll put that guy in there, that's hex as well, it's six-sided, fits on there. This is the clasping in, that's what's gonna tighten and loosen it. And we'll thread that in like an axle. Slide the other hex in, and then you'll see this thread pop out on the other side, just like that. So there's a thread there, and there's a threaded end on this nut as well. That's your tension adjustment. So you're gonna put that with like the gold nut facing out and then tighten that on there. Not all the way tight, because you want to be able to adjust it, but just play with the firmness of it until you find a good spot. All right, so there's two ways that you can power the micro pole here. You can hardwire it in to a battery with this cable, or you can get a battery pack. That's the option that I'm going with. It just slaps on the back of that. That's pretty slick. So there's two quick components to this micro pole battery pack. There's a bracket that you got to put on. So we'll put the bracket on real quick. See how that snaps in there nicely. Then it's just another Allen wrench to tighten it down. Once it's tightened down, that'll receive the battery and lock it in there with a good click. So now that the bracket is fastened, we can put the battery pack on. Like I said, line it up and then it just clicks in there solid. So everything's assembled. We got the base plate, the motor that's gonna deploy and release the anchor the battery pack in the bracket. Now we just gotta put the pole in. 
So the pole itself or the spike is eight feet long. It's composite and has a hollow core, so it's really light. Another cool thing about it that we utilize a lot is there's a quarter 20 on top. So you can mount a GoPro on there, some kind of camera. Find that really useful for us for the big wide angles. But anyway, we're gonna install that, show you how it stows and deploys, and then we'll be wrapping it up. So like I said, we got everything assembled now. We'll stick the pole in. Battery's charged up, machine recognizes that the pole's in there. You can deploy it with the fob, like I said, on a lanyard, or you could put another fob mounted to the side of the kayak so it's accessible when you're seating. But there's one on top of the unit as well, so we're gonna double tap, and that's gonna send right down. So super simple install. Old Town makes it easy for you. I'm gonna finish rigging this kayak and get it ready for on the water.